I would just like to thank you and thank everyone for coming. This is our first hashtag donor, BCC Donor Love Day, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here and to thank you personally for all of your support. Without you, we couldn't have done it, so thank you very much. Because of you, we have made a very large increase in participation this year, and on behalf of the Bristol Community College Foundation and our Board of Directors, we'd like to thank everyone here for your continued support. It is now my pleasure to introduce President Jack Spraga, the President of Bristol Community College. Well, thank you, Liz, and thanks everyone for being here. Isn't it great to see the lobby all full of excitement and spirit? And uh, it really does us good to see this. We should do this every day, right? <laughs> not, not cupcakes every day, though. <laughs> well, I'm uh, very pleased about this hashtag BCC Donor Love Day. Did everybody know what that was when you first read about it? But it's terrific, and we've been very busy in the foundation office this month. Uh, as we move, thinking of ways for our students uh, uh, to help our students uh, get that scholarship money and any funds that the foundation ra ra uh, raises. Uh, speaking of cupcakes, I want to thank uh, Chef Carissimo and his wonderful uh, culinary arts students. Let's hear it for them. Huh? <laughs> They always do such a fabulous job. It's a real showcase for the for the college, at, no matter what the event is. Uh, a couple of people, some people, for you to uh, recognize um, uh, from our foundation board. We have uh, the board chair, Don Smith. Don Smith is here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> and Jim Collins. Jim Collins. Uh, there he is. There he is right there. We have members of the BCC Alumni Association, all the students who will soon be alums, right? And uh, uh, Patricia Zukowski, the chair. There she is, chair of our Alumni Association. Our secretary, Pauline, Pauline Murray. Where's Pauline? There you go. Joanne Baralt. Joanne Baralt. And we have a trustee who is coming, uh, Diane Silva, who is also a, uh, a uh, uh, alum, uh, so we're very excited for her. But we have a trustee present, and that is Christina Lee. Christina, where are you back there? Where are you? Where'd she go? <laughs> okay, now we have some excellent news to share. Uh, last year we had 171 employees uh, who uh, donated to the BCC Foundation. And this year, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Uh, this past month, actually, we more than doubled that number. So we have more employees who are contributing to the foundation for the benefit of, uh, of our students. Um, and the office has shared with me the success is because of the uh, uh, BCC Employee Giving Committee. And they were tenacious. Uh, they throw headlocks and arm locks on people. Uh, so they're very proud of all the work that they did. Uh, no broken bones, I don't think, uh, in this process. But uh, volunteers took a lot of time here. And let me uh, take a moment to thank them. Uh, and I would like them, if they could, as I call your name, to come forward and uh, so we can recognize them here at the podium. Uh, Jen Boulay from the class of 08. Joanne Carol Connor, Joanne Carol Connor from, I'm not going to say what class that was. <laughs> Jeff Craig, class of 95, Jeff. Maurice Sear, Maurice, is he here? He's, he's still in the civic engagement. He's still in civic engagement. He was here and uh, he graduated in 10, 11, 13, and 14. More, <laughs> oh, holy cow, I think he's got tenure. You're going to be up for tenure next year. Uh, Sandra Da Silva, Sandra Da Silva, class of 14, just a few months ago, all right? Amanda Donovan, I saw, I saw Amanda. Yeah, there she comes. Vice President Rhonda Gabovich, there Rhonda. Kim Harrison, Kim. Steve Ozog, Vice President Steve Ozog. Susan Raposa, Susan, I won't, I won't say your class, Susan. 
Robert Resendiz. Robert, there he is, Bob. <laughs> Gloria Sadler, Gloria Sadler here. Yeah. Okay, here. she's busy in Taunton, maybe. Um, Susan Shannon, Susan. <laughs> alumna, alumna. Jennifer Souza. Jennifer, there she is. <laughs> Class of 12. Kathy Torpe Garganta, unfortunately can't make it, but uh, she's in uh, class of 73. Can you believe that? Dental hygiene. Karen Verrier, not able to make it either, but I wanted to mention her name. Uh, Nate Vaughn, Nate? There's Nate. Rob Vitello, Rob. Derek Baveras. Derek Viveros. He's here somewhere along. Kalemo is not, is Kalemo here? Uh -huh. No. And Joseph, Joseph, you say. Yeah, Joseph, there he is. Messiah. Yeah, Messiah, give everyone a round of applause. Thank you for all the help that you gave. And, uh, uh, you know, I know how anxious you are to know about the results that panned out. But before that, I want to. Uh, uh, take a, a, a recognize a longtime member of our fina, uh, foundation board, Jim Collins, uh, who owns Collins Construction. I introduced him earlier. A local company does great work in this community and our surrounding communities. He's been on the foundation board for quite a while. And uh, the company has an excellent reputation thanks to his steadfast connection to the community. In fact, Jim's grandfather built the Taunton School that we're currently in. So uh, there's a long connection with BCC. Um, Jim's been a member of the foundation board since 2001, and I learned recently uh, that he has been involved with uh, why he has been involved uh, so many years and with this organization. And I'd like him to speak for himself about uh, uh, why he values the foundation and BCC. So I'm going to invite uh, Jim Collins to the, to the podium. Jim? Okay, Jim, thank you. I'd like to thank uh, President Spraga. Thank you very much. Uh, most of all, I'd like to thank all of you being here. Uh, this event is about thanking you for your hard work in the past month. It's about the students, BCC, and our community. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like President Spraga shared earlier, I've been involved in this community for some time as a foundation board member. I am involved because the school has impacted my family greatly. I have three wonderful daughters. Uh, my middle daughter, her name is Rebecca. Uh, she works very closely in our company. She's part of our family corporation. Very, very involved in the community. Uh, and Jack, you should pay attention to her because at some point in time, you're gonna need her. So. Uh, she is a future of Collins Construction. She will be the fourth generation. But uh, I'd like to talk to, I have a, a number of family members that have been greatly affected by this college. <clears throat> My oldest daughter, she came to BCC here. Uh, she needed some additional assistance and direction. She was here for six years. She, uh, she waffled around a little bit, and she was in, she was out, but, but because of, of, of you people, I mean, she finally settled down, graduated, and uh, has, has a wonderful job now. My youngest daughter, <clears throat> she had a uh, learning disability, and I spent uh, a couple hours every week for four years at Jerpy High School trying to make sure that she got what she deserved and needed so that she could go on with her life. And um, after graduating from, from Durfee, which uh, we all had our fingers crossed, uh, she came here to BCC. And when she did, uh, the, the employees here just took care of her right from the day that she walked in to the day that she graduated. And it was, we were so proud to see her graduate. She has... Uh, uh, a wonderful job now, and it really has to do with you people, people from BCC. 
Many years ago, a few years ago, not that long ago, um, we had an intern from Turfey High School who worked at our office, and she was doing um, filing and things like that. So she was there. When she graduated, she came to me and she said, I really want to go out to school. So I said, well, okay, what, what would you like to do? And she said, well, I want to be in business. I want to be a business administrator. I said, oh, we can make that happen. I'm sure we can make that happen. And um, she did very well with that. She now is our office manager. She soup to nuts. She runs the place. And she's been with us 25 years. Well, amazing. And my best story of all, and, and the most important one, is my, uh, my partner in life. Uh, she graduated from high school, and she came from a, a lower middle class family who had no money to send her to school at all. So she worked at nights. She came here to BCC. She had a dream. She wanted to be an architect. She came here to BCC for a couple of years in the engineering department, and um, she did very well. Then she, from there, she went on, and she had to take a couple of years off, and she went to RISD, and she was able to transfer all her credits from BCC to RISD. The architectural program was a five-year program, extremely expensive, but because she had come to BCC, and she had done that first, she was able to, with a lot of hard work, she was able to afford it. She now is a registered architect in the state of Mass, Rhode Island and Connecticut, and uh, she lives in the city, and she's, she's a great girl. She really is. So, uh, earlier this month, I had, a, I had lunch with a foundation employee member and got talking <clears throat> why, I should, why I should share my story. So, about the business, about the people. The people at BCC have really helped my family, my immediate family, my business family, and uh, I just want to thank you all for that. So, and I, I also want to thank the students too. Uh, this is our home. We need to support our neighbors. Therefore, I would like to announce that Carl's Construction is committed to support the Transforming Bristol Community College campaign. We have donated $25,000 to support the John Jay Thank you. Thank you. Good investment. Uh, you all gave what you could. It's important to me as a business person to know that you also support the BCC Foundation, with, and actually with your own money. You gave what you could, and because of that, I am committed to this campaign. Thank you for listening, and thank you for supporting us. Well, thank you, Jim. I've been a longtime supporter of the college and now uh, is redoubling his efforts as, in terms of a very generous donation. I'm very grateful uh, as we move forward. Uh, and I'd like to uh, uh, invite the uh, chair, the president of the foundation board, to come forward, and uh, Don Smith. Um, and uh, you might want to say a few words. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ahead. President. Yes, thank you. Um, I just want to say something about what Jim Collins just said, and, and just from my own personal experience. Um, Jim's uh, construction company built one of our branches on the corner of Route 6 and State Road. And if you want to see a, a beautiful building, stop by and see it. But one more thing I want to say is that his daughter Rebecca that he mentioned is uh, one of the most professional, knowledgeable people that I've met in construction. And I'm a licensed contractor, so I, I don't say that lightly. Um, so, Jim, you should be very proud of your family. And, um, and also this other friend of his who's an architect, um, who's a graduate of BCC, um, I've used her as well. And um, I'm a graduate of a community college. So I, these great success stories that you hear, uh, there are thousands of them. And on behalf of the um, foundation, 
I want to thank all of you for what you do for the college. And um, I know you guys work hard. And when I was involved statewide with community colleges, I can't tell you how often I heard um, how well you all do in the performance of this college. You are one of the highest performing colleges in the state. So I just want to make you aware of that. And uh, from the bottom of my heart and the foundations, we thank you very much. So. And uh, in addition to uh, Don's comments, I want to recognize uh, Vice President Liz McCarthy and also Kate Brazino in our foundation. Very proud for the hard work that they have put into uh, events such as this. Uh, now, uh, last year, I think I mentioned to you, we had uh, 171 employees uh, donated to the BCC Foundation. Uh, while the committee goal was to double this number uh, to 342, as of today, we actually have over 400 uh, employees given, 413. That 413 number is a 142% increase over last year, which was a fairly good year last year. So this is wonderful work, and I want to thank all of you uh, for the hard work that you put in making sure that we reached our goal. Um, as of today, we have uh, 247 full-time and 166 part-time employees supporting the BCC Foundation. And 70 of that group increased their gift. And uh, thanks to this campaign, we've acquired 187 new donors that hadn't previously given. So uh, that's just remarkable work. And uh, last year, the foundation received tw uh, $24,000 in, do in donations. Uh, so we're very, very happy about, about the events that provide that income. And now I'd like to uh, invite Don Smith back uh, as he will uh, announce uh, front runners on the committee. Don, you got your glasses? I, I don't know. You know, I, I feel the love here, don't you? So, Steve Ozug almost gave me a hug. He, he's, he has those. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. So, uh, I would like to recognize some of our front runners on the committee. I understand there was a bit of, of a contest that took place this month. Someone mentioned that there was a point system for returning and new donors or something like that. Anyway, I realize there is a first place, a second place, and a third place prize for all of you. So the first place prize is awarded to Jen Souza. The second place prize is awarded to Nate Vaughn. I, I know Nate has his own fan club. They're rooting him when he was coming up here earlier. That's your fan club, right? Yes. <laughs> and the third prize is awarded to Susan Raposa. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that for a photo opportunity? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great job. Jen and Nate and Susan. They'll be available for autographs. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, we're working on offices. We want to have uh, uh, whole office uh, donations. Uh, and some of the offices have given 100%, uh, so we're, you know, we're, we're going to work forward on that uh, throughout the rest of the year. And now I'd like to invite back to the podium to give us some, some concluding remarks Vice President Liz McCarthy. Vice President. Okay. Again, thank you so much for coming today. We appreciate it. And in honor of our hashtag BCC Donor Love Day, um, we thought it was appropriate to take a group photo. So if we could all get together and take a group photo, we thought that would be great. All right, we got it.